Now the News for Jack's I-Team investigation, the dump next door leading to more action to try to help residents at two deteriorating Jacksonville apartment complexes. Sky 4 video shows more than a dozen inspectors from a number of local and federal agencies descending on the properties today. We've been investigating the complexes since April when residents complained of rodents, roaches, mold, and piles of garbage. Last week, we told you the federal government fined the owner of Eastside Terrace and Eastside Gardens Apartments $600,000 after both complexes failed their HUD inspections. I-Team investigator Vic Michelucci went along as inspectors found blatant safety issues. Rats and the roaches, and they need to demolish and rebuild. Cheryl Chandler has lived at the Eastside Terrace for eight years, and it's the worst it's ever been. It's soaking wet, and I put that one down. Last week, she showed us a leak and mold. Just a few of the problems here. This place isn't salvageable, in your opinion. No, sir. I don't, I don't see it. But this morning, she saw inspectors going door to door, nearly 100 units to check. Federal HUD investigators, Jacksonville's fire marshals, and code enforcement officers descending on the two Section 8 apartment complexes. That's not good. They're looking for everything from fire safety issues to structural problems to mold, rats, and roaches. This after a federal REAC inspection failed both subsidized properties. Eastside Gardens getting a 24 out of 100. Eastside Terrace, just 6 out of 100. Anything below a 60 is considered failing. Senator Marco Rubio stepped in after seeing our reporting. And no one should be forced to live under these conditions that are frankly third worldish and unacceptable for any American to find themselves living in these facilities because someone's trying to save some money. Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry says fixing the problem is a top priority. We're asking those questions now, um, but there's pressure being put right now on the landlord. Uh, my administration is working with that pressure and uh, we got to work with them for them to get it right. And if they don't, we've seen how this could end. Last week, we learned HUD is fining the complex's owner, Andrew Padre, $600,000, which he tells us will probably run him out of business as he's out of money to fix up the buildings. Oh, I, I definitely see some stuff. That's While the reports from today's visit aren't complete, inspectors found numerous examples of dirty and dangerous conditions, which even surprised area council member Reggie Gaffney. Often these things is not addressed until they bring it, bring it to your attention, y'all bring it to our attention. But once it comes to our attention now, I think the city has been proactive. For what it's worth, we have seen work being done on the property contractors the owner hired. Since you all have come out, things have gotten somewhat better. Somewhat. I see them moving around a, a lot. But residents say it's too little, too late. And some of the residents that I've gotten to know over the past couple of months say that they are thankful for the city, the federal government, and just the attention as a whole because for a long time they felt forgotten back here. I did speak by phone with the owner of these two complexes. This is Eastside Gardens. Eastside Terrace is around the corner, a couple blocks away from us. His name is Andrew Padre. He told me he does not think the government is doing a good job. He says they're not helping the residents here. They're not really assisting with the situation. All they're doing is they're shutting down his business. And ultimately, he believes that's going to force him to close down, to board up this building as well as the other building just a couple blocks away and he says people will be out of a place to stay on the east side i'm vic michelucci channel four the local station so vic what happens if the property is condemned or sold we've been doing research and we looked at the federal hud rules directly from there if people are kicked out so if this is condemned if it's sold if it's no longer section eight well the government the federal government, by the way, is going to either have to find them more HUD housing or give them vouchers to stay somewhere else. So they're certainly not going to be left out on the street, but they could have to move somewhere else if that's the case. All right, Vic Michelucci reporting to us live. Thank you, Vic.